Well, we ought to be glad this morning. We ought to be glad what he did on this morning. For he woke us up this morning. He started us on our way. And I'm so glad he did what he did. Oh, I'm so glad he did what he did. Oh, he woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. So glad he did what he did. Amen. First of all, we just want to say we thank God, amen, for giving us an opportunity to stand before you alone today. Amen. We don't intend to be before you alone. Amen. Pastor called me and I was like, well, all right, I'm going to try to do something. Amen. But, you know, it's not us, it's God. Amen. When we live right, God will use us. God will anoint us. God will, amen, give us something to say, amen, that will be a blessing first to us and then to the people of God. Amen. And I thank God for the opportunity, amen, to stand here. And when he called me I, the night before, I was just laying there. And the Lord just gave me something. He says, I mean, don't just say it. That's what he gave me. All right. Don't just say it. All right. All right. And I said, don't just say it. I mean, don't, don't just say it. And all I was just saying, well, don't just say it, you know. And I thought about it, you know. But God don't want us just to say it. He wants to do it. He wants to put into action whatever he has equipped in us to do. He will not just say what he wants to put into action. He wants to do it. And so I said, that's why he said, don't just say it. Everybody can say it, but everybody can't do it. It takes more than just saying it to live this life. You know, we got to do it. We got to live by God's word. I and mean, I thought about it. So when God gives you something, a lot of times we don't understand what he's trying to tell us. But all we got to do is just, just say it. Just do it. And when we realize when we do what God tells us to do, we're going to be blessed. Amen. amen. So I thank God, amen, because I ain't going to just say it, but I intend to do amen. whatever God tells me to do, I'm going to do it. Amen. So I thank God for that. Amen. This morning, Lord, we ask you that you come in this morning. Lord, give us what to say to these, your people. Lord, take us out of ourselves, Lord, and use me for your honor and for your glory, that you might get the glory out of our lives. These blessings we ask in thy son's name. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 And I was just looking at that, email, and it says, you know, don't just say it, but do it. And I thought about it, it says, first of all, you know, if we take faith, if we don't put it to work, it ain't going to do us no good. It says, faith without works is dead, and work without faith is dead. So they both got something to do. So I thought about it, you know, and it says, what is faith? Faith is the sum of the things hoped for and the evidence of things that is not seen. So we need to get into our realm in our lives that don't be just look for everything and expecting everything just to fall into place, but we got to start living by faith. You know, we got to, we want God to do everything, but we don't want to do anything. You know, everybody can say they, what they're going to do, but everybody can't do what they say they're going to do because why? It takes Christ in our lives for us to be able to obtain and to do the things that he's already ordained us to do. Right. And, you know, I was listening this morning to the lesson. I said, man, they just taking all my thoughts, everything. And I said, so, and then turn on the TV this morning, and Bishop was talking about, you know, just letting God use us. You know, letting God work through our lives. You know, a lot of times we want to do things. We say we want to do everything, but we end up not doing nothing. That's not what God wants us to do. You know, don't talk a lot, but live a lot. Right. You know, don't, you, you, we can talk all day long when it comes down to living. You know, our lights are not shining. Christ can't get no glory out of us just speaking a thing. You know, when God says something, he backs it up. And that's what he wants us to do. He wants to back up what he gives us to do. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is we've got to be anointed of God. We've got to be in tune with God. We've got to let God use us and not to be bragging on ourselves. But everything we do, we do to give him glory. Amen. We do to lift up the name of Jesus. We do that he might be magnified. And we magnify God 
then all of us are going to be blessed. Amen. Amen. So it says, don't just do it. It says, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. In Hebrews 11 and 6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because everyone who comes to him must believe that he is and exists, and that he rewards them who earnestly seek him. You know, that's the thing. We've got to be earnest in, what we're in, in this walk. We've got to be earnest in, in our relationship with God. You know, but when I thought about that, I said, don't just say it. You know, and you can just take and put that apply to anything in this Christian walk. If you want faith, don't just say, I want faith, but you can have faith. Yeah. Amen. You, you want healing, just don't say, I want to be healed, but say, I'm going to be healed. Yeah. Why? Because God promised it to us. All we got to do is speak the word and then back it up. Because why? God's going to equip us. God has already equipped us. God has already uh, anointed us. God has already put his approval on our lives. And all we got to do is just speak the word. And then when we speak the word, God's going to come in. God's going to anoint us. God's going to use us. So, you know, don't just say, we can say a lot of things, but we want a healing when we say, Lord, heal me, and get up and expect to be healed. We want a door open. Don't say, Lord, I'm going to get a make a way. And we still try to work out ourselves. We say, Lord, I know you're going to make a way. Get up like the way is already made. Get up like the God has already touched your body. Get up like God has already lifted you. Live. It says, leap for joy. Yes. Be glad. Yes. Lord, I thank you for bringing me out of darkness. Lord, I thank you for raking me up this morning. Lord, I thank you for closing me in my right mind. I'm not just saying it, but I'm living I'm living by what God has already anointed me to do. God has anointed each and every one of us. When we say, Lord, I want to change. Don't just say, Lord, I want to change and continue to live the way that we live. Saying it ain't going to get it done. God wants us to put into action what he has already said that we can do. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Without him, we can do nothing but with him. We can do all things, you know. So don't just say what we want to do. Whatever we want in our lives, ask God and believe what we ask. God's going to bring it to pass. So don't just say, I want to be healed. Don't just say, Lord, I want you to make a way. Don't just say, Lord, I want my family brought back together. Don't just say, Lord, I want you to save my family. Don't just say, Lord, but when do we say it? Expect some results. Right. Expect God to honor our request. Yeah. But we first of all, we got to live where God can honor our request. We can say all we want to say, but unless God is pleased with our lives, unless God is pleased the way we live, unless we, you know, we can say all day long, I love my wife, but we're going home with somebody else. Amen. We can say all day long that we love our family and our children and we're not providing for them. Saying they're not going to get it done. Right. It's going to take God in our lives to get what needs to be done, done. And when we realize it's not me, realize that it's God. Through God, whatever the consequence is, you know, he says, just be patient. Just have a little patience. Just be willing to suffer. We say we want to live for God, but as soon as a trial comes, we're ready to throw up our hands. God don't want us to be in and out. He don't want us to straddle the fence. God wants us to make up in our mind and be strong. We want to be strong. All we got to do is say, Lord, strengthen me. Yeah, yeah. Lord, lift me. We look, we, whatever it is, we're looking for joy. Say, Lord, give me some joy. Yes. Lord, give me some peace. Yes. Lord, take these burdens away from me. Yes. Lord, let me know that you're real in my life. Yes. Lord, I don't doubt you. Lord, you've done too much in my life. Lord, I just want to say what you can do. I want to prove to the world that you're real. I want the world to know that you yet can deliver. I want the world to know that you're yet saving. I want the world to know you know you're still opening doors. You're still making ways. You're still delivering. You're still healing. You yet set free. I ain't gonna just say it, but Lord, I got evidence in my life. Lord, you brought me out. Lord, you gave me victory. Lord, you gave me peace. Lord, you gave me joy. Yeah. I don't just have to say it. Yes, I can prove it. Right. I can live it. Yeah. I can do it. Yeah. Why? Because it's not me. But it's the God that lives within us. Yeah. We got to be patient. Yes, yes, we got to be willing for God to use us. Yeah. We got to want God to use us. Yeah. We want to want God to just bless us. Yeah. Whatever we want, all we got to do is ask. But it costs some requirement. We just can't ask for things and we're not living right. All right. But we got to live where God can use us. Yeah. We got to be in a position where God can use us. 
Amen. Amen. Don't just say it, but do it. Amen. Just do whatever God tells us to do. Let's do it. Amen. Amen. You know, I think about a lot of times, you know, I said, well, my wife kept wanting me to retire. I kept wanting me to retire. You know, I said, there just ain't no way. You know, but if we believe God, God can do it. Yes. God can make the way where it seems to be no way. God can open no door where we seem that we got to be the one that opened them. God is in control of our lives. Yes. God is in control of the universe. God is in control of everything that we do. It's in his hands. Yes. So when we think that I got to wait for this, I got to wait for that, all we got to do is to put it in God's hands. Amen. Get up and say, Lord, it's, it's already done. I don't have to wait. It's already done. Get up, you know. But the problem is, we ask God. We say, God, I want deliverance. We say, God, I want healing. We say, God, I want to be delivered. But we don't really want it because we're just saying it. But God is tired of lip service. God wants some true saints of God that really want to be delivered. God wants somebody who really wants to be blessed. You know, you look at it, you know, we can't live off of mom and dad's testimonies no more. We got to be a living testimony today of what God can do in our lives. Amen. So when we give our testimony, we can tell what God can do and people can see the evidence that's in our lives. Say it ain't going to get it done. People are looking at us in our homes, in our neighborhoods, on our jobs, you know, saying everybody can carry a Bible, everybody can quote scripture, but everybody can't live right. And that's what God is expecting us to do. God wants us to live as children of God. He wants us to come out of darkness. Don't be ashamed of what God has brought us out of. If he brought us out of it, he's able to keep us out of it. But we got to want to stay safe. We got to want to stay delivered. We got to want to be healed. Don't just say we want something, but we got to really want what we're asking. We don't want to be asking a miss. We want to ask something and believe when I ask before I get through, because God knows our heart. God knows our mind. God knows if we're sincere and our walking in our relationship with Him. God knows. But He wants us not to just say it. It's time out of just talking on the mountaintops and we're living in the valleys. God wants us to talk and He wants us to back it up. How are we going to back it up? Because we're going to, what we do, we're not ashamed of it. We want our light to shine. We want somebody to know that God can deliver. Yeah. We want somebody to know that God can heal. Yeah. We want somebody to know that you can have joy. Yes. Yes, In the midst of confusion, God can give you joy. Yes, sir. Yes. When everything is going wrong, God can give you peace. Yes, sir. When it looks like there's no way out, God can open that door. Yes, yes. But he doesn't want us to be saying, he wants us to believe it. Yes. And God can do whatever that we ask. But make sure when we ask it, that we ask, we're not just asking for foolish things. All right, all right. We want to ask for the thing that's going to keep us delivered. Yeah. We want to ask for the thing that's going to strengthen us. Yeah. We want to ask for the thing that's going to bring our families back together. Yeah. We want to ask for the thing that's going to bless the church. Yeah. That God can get some glory out of our lives. Yeah. But when we ask, don't just be asking a man. Don't just say it, but do it. Whatever God tells us to do, have faith that it's already done. Yes. Lord, I know you can do it. Lord, I know there's no failure in you. Lord, I know that you know my heart. Sometimes we got to ask the Lord, Lord, to clean me up again. Amen. David said, Lord, create in me a clean heart. He said, and renew the right spirit within us. Sometimes we want to ask God to do things, but our spirits ain't right. right. Our hearts ain't right. Yeah. We have unclean hands, yeah. but we got to say, Lord, clean my hands. Yeah. Lord, clean my heart. Lord, do a work in me. Don't just say it, but let's do it. You know, God wants us to have patience. You know, when we have patience, we can give us that, that we can endure. We don't become weary. We don't become upset. We give us that patience where we're willing to suffer. You know, we had to say, Lord, just, 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 just give me those patience, Lord. We always want things done, but we want it done in our time. We want it done as soon as we say it, we want it done. But God, he, he, he checks our lives out. Each and every day, we wonder why. It don't take God all year, two, three years to do something. It's because why? We're asking, but we're not even believing it. We're just saying it. It don't take all 
years to heal us. It don't take God all night to save us. I got it all in one night because why? I wanted deliverance. I wanted salvation. I wanted to be set free. I wanted the peace of mind. I didn't just ask, but I surrender my will to God's will. And when we surrender our will to God's will, the job will be done. So whenever we come up short, it's not on his part, it's on our part. Don't just say it, but let's do what God wants us to do. Amen. And I'm not going to be much longer. It says in James 1 and 3, because you know that the testing of our faith produces perseverance. James 1 and 6, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver from a person with a divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the winds. Amen. So when we ask, amen, believe that God goes. But the main thing is we got to realize that it's God. Lord, unless you do it, it can't be done. Lord, unless you open up the way, it won't be made. You know, but the thing is, we got to put, he give us that perseverance. When we feel like we can't go no further, God said, yes, you, you can do it. Just keep on pressing. Just keep on striving. Just keep on suffering. Just keep on going through. And when we come out to realize we've already passed the test, but that's what the enemy wants. He wants to just get in that mode to where we feel like we can't make it. He wants us, that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to throw up our hands. He wants to bring confusion to us. But God came to give us peace. God came to give us joy. God came to deliver us. So whatever it is that we want in this life, amen, just ask God and he will do it. Come on, y'all. Put them hands together.